taste is really the key to vitality. Yeah. No matter where and you I are. Think, I think that, I mean, I didn't really ever think of it that way, but that, that piece of like the art to life where art, it's a metaphor for your life and cooking and nourishing. It's like it all brings you back into this wellness and health and yes. yourself. Yeah, yeah. So it's like the same it's thing. It's the same thing, right. Right? Right. We're going to do fast and action like right now because the fat, acid, salty, salty and sweet. sweet. Okay. okay, so like we talked about this quinoa. I just cooked it in a little bit of water with a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I want you to taste it. It's a tasty cardboard. There you go. <laughs> it's a tasty cardboard. I mean, it's, it's that's good, right. but no, it's not like I don't feel like, like going through miles of this, no, actually. See, so that's I like the, the look of it. Right. So here's the deal. And I always feel that way about this. Like when I get it in a restaurant, it's like, God, there's that thing. I just, it's like, how much more do I have to I eat? Think, so, just... so this is, this is the, okay, so you've just nailed it, right? So a lot of the mistake that um, cooks kind of run into, especially when they're trying to eat healthy, right? Mm is that they think that this is the way healthy food should be. So we're going from yuck to yum. I had this olive oil. Now, the thing about quinoa, and I'm being generous here, guys, yeah. because, you know, this, this texture of quinoa is heavily, and that's, you know, texture informs taste, right? right. So if the texture is kind of like pebbly, and you know, it's like, uh, I need a little, I need something to smooth it out. And I also need, I need to carry that flavor. Right, Remember, right. fat is the... Transmitter or that carries the, the, the Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. And then it definitely needs, it's acid. So um, this is a, this is a cara cara orange. Oh, those are great. Look at that. Yeah, right? beautiful. So... I mean, do you do you get a hit on when you're putting things in like that color with this? Is there a connection? Like sometimes well, that this seems like a good ingredient just because it looks so different. In yes. A way? Oh my God! All the time. You know? I'm like very. This will enhance this because it is so different. I mean, this this is the opposite. This is dry and dull colored, and this is wet, juicy, and deep red. Right. Like they're crying out for each other. They enhance each other. Yes, right? they do. Visually, they do. I mean, yes. but. And taste-wise, too. That's right. Now, I'm going to use the zest of um, a Meyer lemon. This is a Meyer lemon off my tree. So this is going to brighten up the flavor, intensify the flavor. No, oh, it smells so good. Okay, and then I'm just going to put... Oh, I lied. That was not a Meyer lemon. <laughs> that was a blood orange. But it's no problem because you can adjust it That's with all right. these other things. That's right. So I'm going to put some lemon juice in here. We need that animation. We need some acid in here because mm -hmm. it's we're so dealing pasty with and pasty blah. and yeah. blah and cardboardy, right? So we need something to brighten them up. And then we need some salt, right? Now, notice I put the acid in first, right? Oh. Before I put the salt in because I don't want to lose, I want it all to kind of go together. If I put the salt in there right away, then all that acid would just erase it. Uh -huh. So now the salt, the acid has, has had soaked a chance, into the food. has soaked okay. into the food, so I can put in a little bit of salt. We fast it up a little bit. We haven't changed the texture dramatically yet. Or the by, color, or the a color, little bit of color. Yeah. But not much, but, but you know, it's almost like you have to get this right first. You've got to get the quinoa tasting like something. Yes. Right? Yes. Before we start playing right. around so with the So this is like your, you know, 5,000 foot view, getting this base going. Right. Right. Okay. So now let's see. Where are we? Now, are you going to taste it or do you know? No. I'm going to taste it too. Does needs just a teeny bit more of this. So what I'm getting is that orange zest is like, whoa. Yeah, it's a little strong, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So two, two. So I'm gonna put some more lemon in there just to okay. kind of tone it down. Just a little bit more. 
And that so you're should... saying the lemon will kind of kind of will take away some of that orange? Yeah. Of, it, they, it just, actually, the rind. Yeah. Because the rind has seed. a bitter. Yeah. Is a, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't the juice of the orange. No, it was, it was the, 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 the rind. It was just the rind. It was just a little zest goes a long way. No kidding. Way. There's hardly any in there. That's better. Oh, much better. Okay. So now we're balanced. And this is what's so great. Like, there is no recipe you need to do this. No. There, you couldn't. Yeah, you have to go by this. What tastes right? And people always say, oh, I don't know what it should taste like. You don't have to know. You know how you talk about in art, it's about the journey. Right, You right. don't have to know what you Where know. you're going to end up, necessarily. Ex if it feels, if it connects with you, it's right. That's if this tastes good to you, it's right. Let's add the other characters to the dish. So now we're adding some sweet here. Yes. Right? And dark. And dark, right? And we're going to add some pistachio. Were these toasted pistachios? Yes. So yes. these were toasted. And then we're going to add some scallions. Ranging your darks and lights. Yes. Exactly. You want the eye to move around easily. Right. And I'm just tearing up some bigger... Bigger shapes. Bigger shapes. Right. Um, yeah, I was going to say, you, you keep the juice. Beautiful. Wow. And then I could do, like... like what I want to do is like, ah, oh, that's just too perfect looking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. I want it more like that. More informal. I want yeah. it more like, yeah. you know. Yeah, right. So now I'll taste it. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. okay, we so get to eat this? Yeah, you get to okay. eat this. You get to eat this. And try it with a piece of the blood oh orange. Right? Yeah, that's amazing. So we and you know the pistachios, there's that crunch in there too, which is so good. Right. You know, I don't know what that is. I guess that's texture. But yes. Yeah. And you need a little crunch, mm -hmm. you know? Mm. You know, it's interesting when you're adding just five drops of this or six drops of this. What I'm thinking of is that it's like these delicate things we do with our art sort of towards the end. And it, it, if anything, it demonstrates to the person who walks up close to it, or the person who thinks about what they're eating, who's sensitive to what they're eating, that there's, that they, they, it has your high level of sensitivity in it. That's it. Right? That's like it. Like it demonstrates, like show us, oh my God, this artist can be so subtle, it's so subtle. But they can be really bold and it's bright orange, but it's like, Oh, this little taste thing off the side. And it just keeps you like enamored. Yes, yes, yes. This is yum, right? This is yum. <laughs> this would be your hell yes. Yes, right. Right? Right? When the painting is working and you right. go, hell yes. This is like, that's wow. like the power that's of yum incredible. right there.